Hey guys, little Larry Bear here with an 8-4 draft for the MTG noob. Um, starting off with this pack, um, there's the Hamletback Goliath, but I think the clear pick here is really Vampire Nighthawk. The card is so strong. Hamletback Goliath can be really slow and can just be chump blocked all day. So I'm going to take the Nighthawk here. Things to note that we're passing our Sentinel Spider, Duty Bound Dead, and the Hamletback. So, things to keep in mind. Um, in the next pack, we get, um, <clears throat> there's a switcheroo, there's a fog bank, so blue might be open. The rare was taken, so we can't know, though. Uh, but murder is in this pack, and I think that's pretty much the clear pick. Like I was saying in my, uh, picks, um, you know, murder is my third favorite card in this set. Um, I may want to change the bottom end of that. I might want to switch out Rancor for public execution just because black is so strong in this set um, and green is kind of weak but here I think the pick clearly is murder and we're gonna try to stay on color here in the next pack um, there's not much honestly um, so we saw switcheroo and fog bank which may mean blue is open and we pass a hamlet back a lot and a sentinel spider which are probably the next couple picks out of that first pack. Here, the strongest cards are Furnace Whelp, Liliana Shade, Beast Tracker. I don't like Beast Tracker, actually. Um, although Beast Tracker does get Vampire Nighthawk, um, which is a nice little combo. Um, that's awkward. I don't like green in this set. I actually like the black-red deck, Furnace Whelp. I th think that I want to take the fern swap here. Actually, uh, Beast Tracker and Recluse are here. I think I'm going to take the Beast Tracker because it works well with Vampire Nighthawk and uh, I think it's just probably the stronger card out of the pack. Here, okay, so there's a there's a water course in the last pack, but there's an Unsummon here. I think Unsummon is the strongest card in this pack by far. Um, Turnslag is here, but you know, I'm not a crazy fan of it, so I'm gonna take the Unsummon. I think it's just a powerful spell. Very nice spell, definitely. Unsummon there. Uh, and it looks like blue is definitely open in this pack. So there's a Ravenous Rats, uh, Fairy Invaders, and a Water Courser. Uh, Fairy Invaders is so good. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, Switcheroo and Fog Bank were in that second pack, but you know, hopefully, we should try to cut off blue as much as possible. So we're gonna take the Fairy Invaders here. Uh, in the next pack, so there's a <coughs> Ravenous Rats, a Tormented Soul, and an Encrust. Um, this is interesting because Double Blue is really awkward <laughs> with our mana, but Tormented Soul doesn't work well in the, the blue-black deck. Ravenous Rats is pretty good, but I think we can get that later. I'm going to take the Encrust. It's just a removal spell. In the next pack, so there's a Deadly Recluse. A Mind Rot, a Titanic Growth, Chandra's Fury, um, so green, you know, might be open. I don't think we want to jump out of black for, you know, green, even though, I don't know. Like, there's, like, Vampire Nighthawk and Murder are two really good reasons to be in black. So I think we're going to take the Mind Rot here and try to solidify ourselves in black. Um, there hasn't been a lot of black pass in this pack, other than that, um, the second pick, Murder, but, you know, the person to our right could have easily just taken a black rare. Um, here, Mark of the Vampire is just the strongest card in the pack anyway, and it's just a really powerful effect. I really, really like Mark of the Vampire a lot. Um, it just does so many stupid things. It makes racing, like, nearly impossible. Um, here, I think the most playable card may be Glorious Charge, so we'll take that. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, here, I don't like Bloodstone Vampire at all. Um, so I'm going to take the Crippling Blight. I think it's a decent removal spell. Uh, we're going to take that here. We don't have a lot of creatures right now, but I mean, we're only in the first pack, so no reason to panic quite yet. <coughs> oh, hi, the Fire Elemental. Um, let's see what else we can get. Hopefully... You know, blue black is a really power. I feel like is a very very powerful um, color combination in this set. So, see what we can do.
try to pick up some Welkin turns, Wind Drakes, and the like. Um, hopefully do decently in this draft. Been on, on a bit of a dry spell. I won a draft last night, and then I've been trying to make a video, uh, and I've failed pretty miserably. Um, Erase seems like the most playable card out of that pack, so we'll take that. Um, here we'll take the Veilborn Ghoul. We probably won't play it though. It doesn't belong in this kind of deck. Uh, it belongs in the red black decks, if at all, although I don't like the card in general. Um, red black or white black, honestly. And a land to finish off. And um, we'll see what the next pack brings us. The next pack brings us a Arctic Aven, another Murder, a Pacifism, Tormented Soul. I think the, the easy pick here is the Murder. It's so good. You know, double Murder is going to be really solid, you know, in any deck. So uh, we'll take the Murder here, and I don't think we'll look back. In the next pack, we have nothing. Absolutely nothing for us. Um, I'm going to show all because at this point, like, there's nothing I even want to take in our colors. Like, Courtly Proverb Cheer is just pretty miserable. Um, so, what I was thinking is that maybe we could sp switch into white and take the pacifism, or at least just take it because it's a card, or we could take the primadox. Um, because we're already sorta in, we sorta have a green card in Beast Tracker. Um, there's nothing in this pack that I want to take otherwise. Absolutely nothing. Um, Pacifism is just a stronger card. I think. I think I'm gonna hack the Pacifism, just cause. Um, I think it's a stronger card there. But I mean, otherwise, like. <coughs> We're not looking great here. Um, we're looking for a second color here. There's Avon Squire. Divination is fine, but we really need creatures at this point. Really, really need some creatures. Um, Avon Squire is a creature. There's not even a black creature. I don't want to take Zombie Goliath. Um, between Avon Squire, I think Avon Squire is the strongest creature out of all those cards. All these cards. So I'm going to take it here. But I don't like this pick because now we're getting into like dangerous territory in terms of like what colors are we going and we're in the second pack which should never happen. Um, but I'm going to take the Avon Squire here. Uh, in the next pack we have a Wind Drake. There's a Welkin Turn. Between these two cards I like Welkin Turn better. Uh, there's also Giant Scorpion. So this is the kind of pack that we really wanted because we want to go so those are two pretty much wasted picks. We can try to splash them, but we'll take the Welkin turn here. Uh, I like it better than Windrake or Giant Scorpion or Water Courser. Maybe we could wheel. This is a pretty powerful pack. Like all these cards are playable. So besides the Reliquary Tower, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There'll be three cards left in this pack, and we may get like a uh, the Water Courser back. So we'll take the Welkin turn. Uh, here, there's a Servant of Nephrox, which I think is really the only card for us, so we're going to grab that. Here, uh, there's a Black Ring, which is solid. <clears throat> there's an Evolving Wilds if we want to splash the, um, if we want to splash the Pacifism that we picked up. There's a Divination, which I definitely want one of, but I think here we're going to take the Archaeomancer because we have double murder at this point and unsummon so like these are definitely some cards that we want to get back I really feel like Archaeomancer is going to be powerful in this deck so I'm going to take the Archaeomancer here in the next pack there's a Mind Sculpt I mean I'm not going to start grabbing those right now um Safe Passage, Vile Rebirth, Phyrexian Hulk um I almost want to take the Phyrexian Hulk just cuz but we need creatures. Uh, I'm just going to take the Vile Rebirth here. I don't like Phyrexian Hulk as a card. Here, uh, we get a. So we could take a Liliana Shade or a Giant Scorpion. Right now we have one, two at the. The. Three drop. We only have five creatures, so we need to start taking creatures really highly. Like, really, really highly. Um, 
we're pretty much done. I mean, we have six creatures if you count Vile Rebirth, which I don't really want to. Um, here, it looks like we're main black, so Liliana Shade might be okay. But I think I like Giant Scorpion in terms of just stalling the board on the ground. So I'm going to take the Giant Scorpion there. Here we'll take the, uh, we could take the Essence Scatter. But I think with a Mark of the Vampire already, uh, I'm going to try to hide the Vile Rebirth. I want to take the Tormented Soul. Once again, it's a creature. Uh, if we get a couple more Exalted guys, it might be better. So we'll take the Tormented Soul there. Um, here, nothing much. We'll take the Downpour because it may be sideboardable. Uh, here we'll take the zombie goliath which will probably be played at this point and ah, damn so we didn't get that water courser back there's a Krankos command uh, I was really hoping that we might um, here we'll just take the kraken hatching because it is playable we'll take the creature and then probably let's save passage last spec that's definitely not right because safe passage is definitely playable I don't understand why that's there I think that's kinda silly um so right now we're looking at not a whole lot of creatures. Archaeomancer is sort of like a spell, basically. We're playing a lot of defense right now. Kraken Hatchling shouldn't really be here. Um, so we really need to take creatures really highly. We need at least four or five more creatures for me to feel safe. Um, and speaking of creatures, there's a Welkin turn and there's a Bloodhunter Bat. Uh, I'm going to grab the Welkin turn here. Uh, nothing much else to say. I think it's stronger than Bloodhunter Bat. Um, more aggressive. Um, <coughs> uh, I just like it better, so I'm going to take the Welkin turn. In the next pack, we get past another Welkin turn. We could take the Glacial Fortress uh, if we want to splash that pacifism, but it may wheel. Um, this pack is kind of weak, though. There's also Evolving Wilds, but I'll take my third Welkin turn, which is pretty good. Um, I like the card a lot, so no reason not to grab it there. Here we get past another late murder, so this is three murders in this deck, which just makes this deck automatically pretty good. Um, so, gonna grab our third murder of the draft, and nothing much else to say about this. There's no other creatures for us to really take. I don't want to take another zombie goliath. Murders are so much more powerful than it, then there's not really much discussion about that pick. Um, so our deck doesn't look terribly bad. Um, I'd really like another Mark of the Vampire and like two or three more creatures, cause um, another Mark of the Vampire would go well with the Welkin turns and also the Tormented Soul. But right now we're looking pretty good, honestly. I like our deck a lot, considering. Um, here we could take a Cower in Fear, which is just like really powerful. But like once again, we really need creatures. We're so low. I can't afford to take a a removal spell and we already have three murders which is good enough for me so I'm gonna take the duty bound dead here it's a solid solid one drop um, provides nice exalted triggers for a welkin turns um, I like it a lot so I'm gonna take the duty bound dead there um, and we'll see what else we get right now we're only looking at 19 playables though so it's not a lot so we gotta I'm gonna open up our draft thing um, here there's another Haven Squire which I'm not going to take. There's a Windrake though. Uh, it's definitely a solid card so I'm going to take the Windrake and be pretty happy that we got this card. Um, it's a nice little pickup for us. Sorry about this being such a mess right now but I really like a Divination too because like we really need the card advantage. Here um, there's an Evolving Wilds which we could use to splash the Pacifism. Um, there's a Negate which I don't like. Um, there's also a Rise from the Grave which is an option considering we have three murders. Uh, I think in terms of consistency, um, I like the Rise from the Grave um, more than splashing a pacifism. We already have enough removal. Rise from the Grave serves as like a semi-creature, um, which kind of works for us. So I'm actually going to take that here and pass on the um, splashing for the pacifism because I feel like our removal is good enough already. Here, um, so right now we're looking at... We're looking at 12 creatures, plus Vile Rebirth, plus Rise from the Grave. Um, <clears throat> so that's like 13, 14, so I'm going to take the Divination here, because I need the card advantage in the blue-black deck, like I was saying last time. Here, there's a Prized Elephant, which nobody's going white-green, I guess, but uh, Giant Scorpion's a nice little pickup for us. Bloodhunter Bat came back. That's nice. Um, 
another prized elephant. So whoever's in white green is definitely getting rewarded if there is anybody in white green. But Bloodhunter Bat was a really nice late pickup for us. Um, you know, our deck is shaping up to be pretty good. I don't think we need to play the Vile Rebirth at this point. Um, and we need to cut one more card. I think it may be the Mind Rot. Or the Crippling Blight. I think the Crippling Blight doesn't do enough for us. And we have a lot of removal already. A lot of spells. Here we're going to take the... Uh, we could take a Bloodthorn Vampire, but we don't have enough creatures to really sack out for it. Anyway, we, it's not like we're playing Mark of Mutiny either. So we're going to take the Sign of Blood and take the card advantage. That was from a draft that I lost pretty handily. Um, we could take another Crippling Blight to sideboard, uh, which I feel like is better than taking another Zombie Goliath. So I'm going to take a Crippling Blight for the sideboard. In case we run into the Red-Black deck, um, or the, you know, Exalted deck, they're definitely cards to Crippling Blight. It just works because they're, you know, faster cards to bring in. So we would take out, like, Mind Rot and maybe Encrust because those cards seem really slow against um, that kind of deck. We may want to keep the Sign and Blood as well because uh, card, is, card advantage is really good. Um, Bountiful Harvest, and we'll take a Planes. Okay. So right now, um, our deck doesn't look terribly bad. Uh, we have 14 creatures right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, not bad, so we'll see what the deck looks like. We will definitely... We said that we would not include the Crippling Blights. Doo Doo Bound Dead is definite. Uh, Tormented Soul may not. Actually, I want to include it. I think it's a solid card, uh, and it works well. We have a couple Exalted creatures. Uh, we also have a Mark of the Vampire. Mondrot, Servant, Triple Murder, Vampire Nighthawk, Bloodhunter Bat, Mark of the Vampire, Rise from the Grave, and Zombie Goliath will probably go in. Um, Unsummon, Triple Welkin Turn, Divination, Windrake, Encrust, Archaeomancer, and Fairy Invaders. So that leaves us at 24 um, with 14 creatures, so I think we probably want to cut a spell. Um, Murders will not be one of them. Encrust is pretty good as well. It's just a removal spell. Um, we're really heavy on the three drop, but I'm okay with that because we have so many, um, you know, our spells at the three drop are really powerful. Um, I think here I'd rather, <sighs> Mind Rod is pretty good. Um, the question I think is, do we want to play Mind Rot or do we want to play Sign and Blood? Um, and I think I really like Mind Rot a lot. I think it does really stupid things. It's an automatic two for one uh, for your opponent. If you play it at the right time, if you play it on turn like, you know, five when they have three cards in hand, they're going to be discarding something relevant or a land to get them to like more relevant stuff. Um, I like it a lot. So I'm actually going to take out the Sign in Blood. I think it messes up her mana a little bit. You guys may completely disagree with that, and I may disagree with myself, honestly. But I really, really like Mind Rod a lot. And we have a Definition already, so I feel okay. We're going to add land. Uh, it's probably going to be 10 7 or 9 8 swamps. Um, 10 7. Uh, I think that's okay. As long as we draw one island, we can play most of our spells. Um, the walk in turns being the most important, and we need more swamps for, like, the triple murders and stuff like that. So we're going to go 10-7. Uh, we're going to submit, and I'll see you guys in round one. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. Uh, I think it was interesting, to say the least. Uh, go blue-black again, which I guess is a theme in my draft so far, because I think I went blue-black last week. But um, we'll see what we can do with this in the rounds. I'll see you guys in round one. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft.